Okay, so chi-squared test, again, is symbolized with x squared, and we will be using it to determine if the data that we observe in our experiment is the same as the data that we would predict from the experiment. Now, one, a couple of the things that you need to remember is that O is for observed frequencies, and that's what you found out in your lab, and then E is for expected, and then we do the sum of that, and that's what sigma means. So X squared is the chi-squared test. All right, so um, this chi-square analysis uh, allows you to determine if your data is good or not. And um, what we use instead of just a plain old hypothesis is a null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis is something that states there is no deviation between what we predict and what we actually found out in the lab. So um, if your hypothesis, your null hypothesis, is supported by data, then you are saying that the movement of the um, pill bugs is random. If it is not supported by the data, then you are saying that there must be something non-random occurring. In other words, there is a, a choice that the um, pill bugs are making. So um, what we do is we calculate the number for the chi-square test, and then we compare it to a table of distribution of probability. And in order to do that, we need to know the number of degrees of freedom. Now, something degrees of freedom is the freedom of um, uh, phenotype or freedom of behavior, whatever it is that you're talking about. So what you do to determine the degrees of freedom is that you take the number of possibilities in your experiment and then you minus one. So in our experiment, if we had wet or dry as our two choice chamber locations, we would take two minus one and we'd have one degree of freedom. And then when we read that from the table, if the level of significance is greater than 5%, then your hypothesis will be accepted and the data is useful. And then if it is not, then it is not accepted. And I will show you that in a minute when we get to the table. But let's again review the null hypothesis. It's basically the opposite of your hypothesis that you made prior to doing the lab. So it is a hypothesis that states that there is no statistical deviation between observed and expected. So in our lab, it would be something to the effect of the behavior of the pill bugs will not be affected by the differences on each side of the choice chamber. Now, the hypothesis that you made was an if-then statement. If um, pill bugs prefer a moist environment, then there will be a greater number on the wet side of the choice chamber. Okay, that is specific. You're saying that you predict that's your hypothesis that that will happen. Well, the null hypothesis is nothing will happen. And so this is stating that there will be no effect. And so we are going to compare our results to nothing happening and decide if there is a significant difference between the two. So I, I kind of have this already calculated because um, I thought it would be faster for fitting this in for you. There are two classes, wet and dry. And if we were to expect that there's no choice, in other words, they are just randomly moving the pill bugs and that they are moving wherever they, they wander, then one would expect that there would be five on one side and five on the other side at the end. However, if we saw that there were eight on the wet side and two on the dry side, then that would be our observed. So in order to do the chi-square test, what you do is you take your observed minus your expected and do that for both um, classes and then observed minus effect, uh, expected squared, so in this case both of them are nine, that won't always be the case, and then take that number and divide it by the expected, and that's 1.8. So the sum, okay, that's what sigma is, it's the sum of those is 3.6, because 1.8 plus 1.8 is 3.6. The degrees of freedom is the number of possibilities minus one, so in this case, two minus one equals one degree of freedom. Now, let's look at this chart. I'm about to run out of time on this first video, so I will make a second video and um, finish this up. 